moments for the saving. I did have a little cry. Welcome back guys. Last time on To Get Lost, we visited Kiparissi in the Peloponnese and enjoyed the perfect sail back to Portaheli, where we had to say a sad goodbye to our visitors. Where you from, you sexy thing Ooh, I've been leaving Barry Cotton's baby Since you came along We have just dropped my parents back at the car park and they've got to drive back to the airport now so they're on their way home. A bit sad really, um, I did have a little cry but um, we've come back to the boat and we're, we're just going to try and keep busy, try to forget that they've gone. Um, they just feel very empty and quiet in here now without them, <laughs> it's, it's a bit sad, um, just us again. It's made us realise that we do really like having people around. Um, so maybe we'll try and have, now we're a bit more confident, have more people on board next season, which would be really nice. Um, <coughs> Mum and Dad, you're always welcome. You are lovely guests. Um, we have a lot of happy memories now. But we are going to have a coffee and get on with some boat jobs and then we thought we might go and visit this shipwreck that we've that we've seen on the other side of the bay um, this evening and then I think the plan is to move on to go to Naf Nafpio, Nafplio and um, see what that's like up there. We're very near the place where we're hauling out for the winter now and it's only a few more weeks really until we need to be there to get hauled out so we're just gonna um, go and see what Napoli is like and make a plan from there I guess, see what we want to do, see if we want to go anywhere else before we get hauled out. So yeah it feels like things, I guess my parents were sort of the last thing to look forward to really, now it feels a bit like it's nearly the end of something. Anyway, try not to think about it and go and get on with some boat jobs. Searching in the dark, trusting every clue I found. But the truth has not been told. There's every corner of these woods is hollow. I can't see. What's going on there, Emily? Just watching the sunset. We've got a motor. Generating some power. Because we've been working so hard all day. And now we've got no power. Game over. And we need our batteries to work as we're going Adam really needs to catch us a fish for tea because we don't have any dinner and we had to switch the fridge off yesterday so all our food's gone off. Don't film my terrible casting technique. <laughs> Plenty of our viewers would like to teach me how to actually do this because currently I'm just sort of wanging it. So Adam decided he was going to learn to cast using a pet, a fishing line wrapped around a pen the other day. Really well. Yeah, it worked brilliantly until you threw the pen into the sea and lost our lure. I can't help it. Put plastic into the sea, and then the fish caught it immediately, and I was really cross. <laughs> now he's doing it with the fishing rod. I think you're supposed to do it over your head, and I have to the side, but I can't do it. Every time I do that, I just hit the side. 
Not a bad view to be fishing with. But that noise of the engine is doing our heads in. Stuck on your back. No, don't try and turn me over again. <laughs> we were pleased to leave Portaheli, as although it had been amazing as a safe place to hide from various storms, it wasn't the prettiest of anchorages. We headed to Nafplio for a change of scenery and stopped off along the way to check out the place we would be spending the winter months. What's going on, Emily? We're sort of loaded with sailing to uh, where are we going? Napoleon. 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 Navionics. Napoleonics. And yeah, we went to check out. We had did a little flyby of the um, place we're going to overwinter. So we went to see that. So we're thinking we'll probably get there a week early so we can take the sails down. It looked nice, so just, didn't it? Yeah, it looked really nice. We thought we could like, anchor out at the bay, just made sure it was safe looking there and it looks good. So that was cool. And now we're just carrying on and we've got like hardly any wind. Wow, we've got eight knots of wind, so we're not going anywhere on the cells though. We've got the sea state of 20 knots. So like, what's going on? The sea's like, that's really big. You can probably tell from my shoddy camera work. <laughs> It's like it's it's in serious waves. We're being thrown around, but we can't get anywhere with the wind, so a little bit frustrating right now. We're not that far off though, are we? Yeah, we've got a few hours still we? <laughs> Come on. Some nice relaxing sailing. <laughs> it's quite fun to have some sea, but it's just means we can't get anywhere when it's really calm, at least with the motor on we actually go. But when there's loads of waves, it slows us down. And there's no wind. There's due to be 20 knots of wind right now. No. Not even 10. And that's how it is. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> nearly fell off the seat. Side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. When we reached Napoleon, we realised the anchorage would be really uncomfortable and potentially dangerous because of the swell, so we had to retrace our steps to find somewhere more sheltered. There was a time when this change of plan at short notice would have been a challenge, but spending every night at anchor for months on end has taught us what to look out for and the importance of getting it right the first time. We'd spotted a safe looking anchorage about half an hour's sail away, so we headed there in time for sunset. So we were going to go to Naf Plion, and then we heard it was Naf. So instead we've ended up in Ka Carathonus, Carathonos, which is absolutely stunning. Isn't it, Adam? It's pretty good. Look at this sunset. You just like it because of the goat.
There are a million goats up on the hill over here. You can't see. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Thanks for watching. We're so grateful to everyone that's supporting us on this adventure of ours. If you want to know more about us, then check out our earlier videos or head over to www.togetlost.com where we've been writing about our adventures, sharing what we've learnt, and I've also been putting my teaching qualification to good use by blogging about homeschooling for anyone that would like some extra help during lockdown. If you've enjoyed this video and want to give back, then please do like and subscribe or buy us a coffee using the link below.